One of the most critical measurements taken during the drive audit process is center distance, and more specifically, the allowable adjustment in center distance. These measurements provide vital information when calculating the overall belt length for the new application. Center distance is the distance from the center of the motor shaft to the center of the fan shaft. Once you've measured center distance, you can focus on the available adjustment. Ultimately, we need to know the minimum and maximum center distance allowable. Depending on the location of the fan shaft relative to the motor shaft and the direction that the motor moves, determining minimum and maximum center distance can get a little tricky. Let's assume the motor moves parallel to the floor and the fan is located above the motor. If you move the motor three inches out, you may have only changed center distance half that amount. Assuming three inches of motor adjustment in either direction, minimum and maximum center distance can be calculated using Pythagorean's theorem, stating that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, a equals run, b equals rise, and c equals center distance. So we measure current center distance at 42.42 inches, current run at 30 inches, and current rise at 30 inches. Each of these measurements can be taken with a simple tape measure. After measuring the amount of motor adjustment, we can recalculate center distance by changing AD or the run to reflect the motor adjustment. If 30 squared plus 30 squared equals 42.42, then to calculate maximum center distance, we would add three inches to the run number and make it 33. 33 squared plus 30 squared equals 44.59. To calculate minimum center distance, we would subtract three inches from the run number and make it 27. 27 squared plus 30 squared equals 40.36. So our minimum and maximum center distance numbers are 40.36 and 44.59. The last thing to take into account would be any structural or drive design issues that will limit motor adjustment. A belt guard or mounting bracket may reduce the amount of center distance adjustment. Other things to take into account are structural elements within the air handler, such as the support bar or the location of the motor conduit box relative to the unit wall. Please do your best when measuring minimum and maximum center distance. A good rule of thumb is to measure the available motor adjustment and cut each number in half to determine minimum and maximum values. Keep in mind, for Browning to select a retrofit solution, we need a minimum of two inches in center distance variation. And to select the most cost effective retrofit solution, five inches variation is optimum. And remember, always take pictures for future reference.